Hello students, today in a plus one class, lecture three of integral. This is the lecture third, right? I'm taking definite integrals. We have done the integrations already and we uh, have seen that uh, the formula for the integration is x key n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 into d by, by dx of x plus c. This is basically this formula is useful in the integrations. Sometimes if there will be limits like, like here. 0 to 1 or something else. This is called definite integrals. Kick limit hogi. Lower limit 0 and upper 1. 0 se leke 1. Parte kaise hai? X ki n integration with respect to x. Within limits 0 to 1. Right? Aise parte. So definite integral ka matlab hai ek limit de di hume. Right? Now see this question. I have this first question here x key power 3. Now you can see the integration without the limit is very easy. You can do it easily with that formula, right? Let us do. Is equal to x key n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. Now 1 is the lower limit, 4 is the upper limit, right? This way we will write. So inside this becomes x key 4 divided by 4 and limits again 1, 4. Now see, these are the limits 1 and 4 of x. x jo hai, wo ja ra hai beta. 1 se 4 ja ra hai. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the limits. Hai na? Ki a, 1 bhi hai, 2 bhi hai, 3 bhi hai, 4 bhi hai. X, 1 se 4 ja ra hai, right? So x is varying. But this 4 is a constant can take it out and this can be written this way. 1 to 4. Now upper limit 4 we I will write 4 e power 4 in place of x. I will put upper limit minus this is the way minus lower limit is 1 and 1 key 4. And this is your answer. See this is 256 minus 1. Then this becomes 255, then 6, and 6, and this is uh, uh, 115, then 3, right? Then uh, it will become approximately this 63.75. So this is the answer. Clear? Now, when you will have the limits not done, there will be no plus C constant. Constant nahi hoga. Kyu nahi hoga bade dekho. Ye hum chalo baad mein bhi le sakte hai. But basically samjh lo ki constant kyu nahi hoga. Agar constant aap laga bhi do maal lo yaha constant. Toh wo constant upper limit minus lower limit mein cancel ho jayega. Minus karenga na upper ka bhi aega. Or lower ka bhi aega. Toh wo same minus ho jayega. Toh lagana hi nahi hota yaha. Hum, we will not take a constant. So note it down. When there will be a definite integrals. We will not write constant in the integrations clear so this formula now see now we can consider this as a 1 over x kaise kar rahe hai isko beta maan lo ye x ok so 1 over x ka integration kya hota hai beta yada beta log x log x ho se ho gaya aur jaysay yaha pe hota hai na ki niche yaha pe divide karna hai वैसे यहां पे होता है d by by dx of x again क्योंकि यहां कट जाता है यहां कटेगा नहीं simple it is then this is the answer 0 to 2 एक बार फिर से देखते हैं 1 over x को हम करेंगे log x so x की जगह in fact यहां पे है 1 plus 3x so 1 over x को बन गया log x d by by dx of x again done Right? Formula lag chuka hai amara. So, humne formula laga hai hai. 1 over x. Ka integration is log e exponentials with natural log x. Okay? So, now, if you will do this integration, firstly I will do this and this. Right? It will become 0 and it's 3. So, 3 will left and 3 can be written out. And log 1 plus 3x lower limit is 0, upper is 2, 1 over 3, 
and log no upper limit in place of x write to minus this again but in place of x i will write a lower limit so what is the answer this will become log e key power 7 minus log uh, this becomes 0 and log 1 is it clear no log 1 log 1 main aapko ek bar fir bataya tha ki log iska matlab kya hai ye keh raha hai ki e ki kitni power kare e ki kitni power kare ki 1 aaye e ki power 0 kare to 1 aa jayega na iska matlab ye 0 hoti hai values right so this can be written as log 7 minus 0 so answer is 1 by 3 log e 7 so this is the answer ek bar fir se dekhte hain ये log 7 है इसकी वैल्यू 0 होती है क्यों 0 है क्योंकि e की पावर 0 करेंगे तो 1 आएगा तो इसलिए इसको 0 लिखते हैं राइट इन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आई सेंड टू यू दैट इंटीग्रेट ऑल दिस फोर विद रिस्पेक्ट टू x एंड फाइंड विद इन द लिमिट्स 2 टू 4 द फोर्थ वन आई हैव सॉल्वड इन योर नोट्स आउट ऑफ दिस थ्री वी कैन टेक एनी वंस uh i think this will become a little bit difficult for you to out of these two let me take any one let's take the third one right integrate of x e minus one and dx zero two to four two to four okay now see here x key n formula we cannot apply because uh, you know if n is equal to minus 1 then that formula is not applicable wo nahi lagta kyun nahi lagta aapko pata hai dekho x ki n plus 1 maine laga diya na dekho maan lo laga hi diya to ye ban gaya ki kya bana kuch bhi nahi bana na some this is 1 1 over 0 infinity so ye lagta hi nahi hai tab tab kya lagta hai formula kya lagega bata 1 over x wala this is 1 over x na then this becomes log x log exponential x limits 2 to 4 so upper limit log 4 minus lower limit 2 so this is the answer this is the third answer right like second in a second question this is under the root x and limits are 2 to 4 so this becomes x ki power 1 by 2 right beta the formula we can use here x ki n what is x key n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 and 2 to 4, right? But it becomes 3 by 2 and 3 by 2 and 2 to 4. Then 3 by 2 is 2 by 3 and x 3 by 2, 2 to 4. Clear it up. Now the limits, this becomes 4, upper limit in place of x, 4 minus lower limits, this way we can get clear. Samjara beta ji. Now you can solve pretty little further also this. Like you can write 4 key power 1 by 2 key power 3 this way and right and this can be done 2 key power 3 key power 1 by 2. This becomes 2. This becomes 2. 2 by 3. This becomes 2 and 2 give our 3 minus. This is 2 give our 3 under root, right? Then under root 2 into 2 into 2. So what is the answer? This is 8 and this becomes outside and this is the answer. Okay. So this was the next question number 3 which I have sent to you. Now some uh, trigonometric functions also I have sent to you. Uh, first one I have sent that first question is minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 and cos x dx. You have to integrate it. So nothing is new just uh, uh, limits are new for you. So limits does not matter cos integrations. Cos is sine, so sine I will write and minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 limits. Clear? Then 
साइन पाई बाई टू अपर लिमिट माइनस साइन लोअर लिमिट ठीक दिस इज वन एंड दिस इज माइनस साइन पाई बाई टू साइन माइनस थीटा इज माइनस साइन थीटा राइट माइनस इंटू माइनस प्लस वन प्लस वन दिस इज वन एंड आंसर इज टू ठीक है बेटा समझ आ रहा है then the next question is easy for you then the next which i have sent is easy for you no problem is there let me solve the fourth one integration of sin 7x 0 to 30 but here also in place of angle this angle this get differentiated kyunki ye x hai aur yahan par bhi x tha beta isliye ye integrate hua isliye ye इंटीग्रेट हुआ तो ये जो x का एक बार नीचे हम डी वाई बाई डी एक्स ऑफ x जरूर करते हैं तो अब यहां कट जाना था अगर मान लो यहां x की जगह सेवन है जैसे यहां तो क्या होता है देखो साइन डाल माइनस कॉस थिटा होता है ना और ये जो एंगल है इस एंगल का एक बार नीचे फिर होगा क्लियर मान लो ये थीटा है तो साइन थीटा अगर आप कर रहे हो तो यहां तो एक्स है तो इस का अगर आप इंटीग्रेट कर रहे हो तो कॉज आएगा माइनस कॉज एंगल और एंगल का फिर नीचे राइट तो कितना बन गया इसका कितना आ जाएगा सेवन और ये बाहर आ जाएगा माइनस वन ओवर सेवन एंड कॉज सेवन एक्स जीरो टू थर्टी माइनस वन ओवर सेवन एंड अपर लिमिट And lower limits clear minus one over seven cos two hundred ten minus one. So see two hundred ten can be written this way cos one eighty, है ना? And किस कौन से quadrant में पड़ा बेटा? One eighty plus thirty third third में, है ना? After school the college ये minus होता है and this is cos thirty. Cos thirty की value कितनी होती है? कॉस थर्टी की वैल्यू होती है अन रूट थ्री बाई टू राइट सो वी कैन राइट माइनस अन रूट थ्री बाई टू माइनस वन क्लियर हो रहा है समझ आ रहा है बेटा जी एक बार फिर से देखें कॉस टू हंड्रेड टेन को इस तरह से हमने डिवाइड कर दिया क्वाड्रेट देखा और इसको थर्टी बना दिया वन एटी है इसलिए कॉस कॉस ही रहा राइट नो सी यू कैन टेक माइनस आउट साइड वन ओवर सेवन इन साइड इज अन रूट थ्री Two minus one, right? Two. If we will take LCM, then this will become this one over seven, and this is one point seven three two minus two over two. Clear? Then you will multiply here of uh, four, six, fourteen, and uh, three and a two. Hey now, this way. Uh, then this becomes fourteen, and when you will divide. It will becomes point this, and this is the answer. Okay, Vera. This way you will uh, integrate. Okay. I hope there is no problem in uh, integration and definite integration. Now the last part left. Last part left. That is integrations of two functions. We will do in the next video that ones. चलो उससे पहले मैं एक कुछ क्वेश्चन आपसे पूछू जैसे यहां पे मान लो आपके पास लिखा हुआ है कॉस टू थीटा ठीक है कॉस टू क्या हुआ इंटीग्रेशन साइन टू थीटा डिवाइड बाई डी बाई डी थीटा ऑफ टू थीटा प्लस सी देखो ये जो एंगल है कॉस का हो गया साइन और इस एंगल का दोबारा से यहां होगा तो यहां से टू बच रहा है तो आंसर आ रहा है साइन टू थीटा डिवाइड बाई टू सिंपल क्लियर अगर मान लो ये कॉस थीटा स्केयर होता चलो इतने डीप जाने की जरूरत नहीं पड़ती मैथमेटिक्स वालों को पड़ेगी तो ये क्या हुआ इस ये एंगल ये चीज है है ना तो इसको अगर आपने सॉल्व करना तो कैसे होगा साइन दिस इज जस्ट एन एंगल थीटा स्केयर ओके देन द एंगल थीटा स्केयर अगेन हेयर द डिफ्रेंशिएशन तो क्या बनेगा साइन थीटा स्केयर एंड ये यहां पे फार्मूला लग जाएगा एन एक्स एन माइनस वन टू एंड दिस सो दिस विल बी द आंसर इन दैट कंडीशंस ठीक है बेटा थैंक यू बेटा